Welcome back to another exciting tutorial on icdsavvy.wordpress.com Today we'll be looking at formatting of a Microsoft Word document So I have a folder here ready You Okay So we have four documents over here The first one is a completed document which is already formatted Alright So I'm just going to put it over here and here is another document that is not formatted yet which you are supposed to format now it reads 15 ways positive people stay positive and get their work done okay however now there's only 14 points the 15th point is for you to add on your own right so well, let me take that out too okay for later Alright, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to put it over here, right side of my screen, left side of my screen. Now the formatted document is on the right side of the screen, so let's get going. Okay, so the first one is the title. Right, the title looks different. The font type here that's required is, okay, TWSN condensed size 30. So I'm just going to go up there and click over here, TWSN condense, enter. Okay, looks a bit bold to create a bold 30 size now the case you need to change the case so you're gonna go click this one over here the capitalize each word right and I think I'm gonna change all the text to black in color so I'm just gonna press ctrl A ctrl A is to select all so yeah it looks refreshing now N first this is called a drop cap, so I'm going to change this to capital N. I'm going to highlight everything. Okay, and I'm just going to go to over here. This is the changing of case. So we have lowercase. If I want everything to be in lowercase, I want everything to be in sentence case, which I should notice that all should be in sentence case. Right. So I'm also, what I'm going to do, let's see. Right, all our... The entire document has not been changed to sentence case, so I'm just going to press Ctrl A perhaps, select all. Okay, oh, starting from here to the very end. Okay, over here. So I'm going to change this one to a sentence case. Now the button has disappeared for a while, so let's see. Uh, is it there? Yes, it's there. Okay, it's over here right now. Okay, so sentence case for everybody. So now that it looks much better. Okay, and then I'm going to change this to uh, insert a uh, drop cap. Right, so drop cap over there. Now these are called subheaders. Right, they look better if they are in uh, capitalize each word that way. Right, so I'm going to do that 14 times. Not uppercase. Alright, so we're gonna do what there is a shortcut, it's a control or alternate O will activate that hotkey and then press E for echo. So I'm just gonna do some hotkeys there. Triple click. Oh, oh there, alternate O E. Alternate O E. Alternate O E. Oh, alternate O. C. Alternate O. And capitalize the word. Alternate O and E. Right? Oh, this is taking a while. Notice I just did a triple click on that one. Okay, come on. Maybe I should just leave this to you to get it done. Yeah, because it's a repeated pattern. Not everybody's gonna get that one. Okay, so here maybe we need two spacing. Okay, now that's done. 
we are going to look back at what's going to happen next is to let's zoom out control scroll out okay the entire text is actually in body text it's in georgia so i'm going to highlight the entire thing again i can zoom out and highlight this more efficient way yep it's going to be georgia gr yes georgia at fun 14.5 okay an access page over there but it's okay at the moment this this weird boxes maybe you should delete this away yeah there's probably a table or something delete table oh, hidden tables around delete table okay moving on okay we are going to maybe you should not insert the image first okay the paragraph starting from decrete happens from within Okay, oh, the subheaders are actually in Arial font. Okay, so we're gonna work on that later on. So we're just gonna do the column first. So, column, zoom out again, all the way here, page layout, column, two columns, right? So you have a very neat way of reading things. Alright, also notice that um, the subheaders some of the subheaders are spread over quite widely so what happened here is actually the line spacing has to be reduced so line spacing is right over at over here there you go one point zero again one over here okay or you can actually have everyone at one line spacing okay there you have it and lastly we are going to add an image over here okay we're going to delete this one over here gonna insert an image right over here insert picture image all right desktop it's the savvy okay on the tree so right over here insert okay this is where we're gonna put the word wrap inside so wrap text square right so this is how text is wrapped around an image wrap text okay we have one more the last one over here okay all right um, somewhere at the bottom here okay maybe paragraph 13 I want you to press control enter Okay, to break the page so it's actually inserting a page break uh, insert page break right or control return or control enter yeah so I'm gonna break this paragraph so they have it pushing the entire paragraph to the last page right so over here we're gonna insert an image which is the trophy star okay that's a bit awkward over here so we're gonna just go to go to format once you insert an image you can wrap text around it go to do a type so we're just gonna put it over here. Let's go note this. You can see the text is wrapped around the image. Okay, so I think we are done. Okay, yep, there's a big space over here. It's just gonna delete this. Okay, I'm also gonna insert page footer and page numbering. Okay, page numbering, insert page number to the bottom of the page and the center, and it's done. Right, and I'm just gonna type the word pitch. So it's gonna look the same. Pitch one, pitch two, pitch three. So that is pitch insert page number. Close. I'm gonna insert my name, insert header, header on top, edit header. So created by myself. <laughs> okay. Um right. That's it. This is header. Alright, you can see your name. Okay, so I and your class and align it to the right align. This is right align. Okay, for pages two and three, you will need to highlight all the paragraphs and fully justify. This is called fully justify. So you can see the text is like a square box that way. Now you may want to delete this one with an OE. Okay, 
we are done. Alright. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. So let's get done to editing, formatting your document. Goodbye.